we have something very cool today. We have the Yapper board by Rabbit Labs. This is one of their newer boards and it's got a lot of functionality. A board like this, and especially with what I have this ESP32 flashed with, it brings the flipper kind of um, on, the, uh, on the net and in a network now. So we can see here on this very cool looking board, we've got essentially three parts to it. We've got the ESP32, we've got an RJ45 jack, with the W5500 Ethernet controller, and we have a GPS chip. This GPS chip is also connected to a little battery slot here, and if you put one of these CR1220 batteries in it, this GPS just keeps going. So what that does is it, it makes it so that you don't have to wait as long for your GPS information to download or to connect to satellites, I mean, and you get your information right away. This board is a little bit heavier than most because it has all these different modules on it. We've got the power display right here. We've got our uh, receiving and transmitting lights, a couple other lights down here, and of course our RJ45 jack lights. If we turn this over, we have the normal flipper pins, GPIO pins. We've got the cool rabbit and the little yapper guy. Who's yapper? Everyone's yapper. No one knows who's yapper. Everyone knows. All right. So let's plug this board in and take a look at it. Spin it around for a little while. Let's see here. Take the flipper out. We'll plug the board in first before we turn the flipper on and then turn it on. Cool. Running the latest dev version of Momentum. Now, like I said, I'm running the Ghost ESP on this ESP32 chip. So let's take a look at that real quick. So I'm, I've also got the FAP. I put it in GPIO. ESP, and then Ghost ESP. This is the new Wi-Fi penetration testing tool. Um, one of the newer ones that's out and it's absolutely fantastic. Still in some major developments, new versions, uh, updated versions come out daily, sometimes two, three times a day. So uh, it's a really great tool. We'll take a look at it. We can see when we started it, we had the power light go on and the receive and transfer. Oh, forgot to mention, we also have our reset and boot buttons so that we can flash the chip. And on the top right here, you'll notice this blank area. You can purchase this board so that it has an external antenna. I like the low profile of the, of the onboard antenna, so that's what I decided to get. All right, so now we're in we're in Ghost ESP, and let's turn it on. We go to Wi-Fi. Now, what we've done here is when this power light is on, we know that the Ghost ESP SSID is on. So let's take a look at that on a phone real quick. And it's projecting ghost.net right here. If I come out and I go to my browser, I'm at the web UI, the web UI. So essentially now we have a web UI for the Wi-Fi penetration testing tool. Very cool, very, very neat. I can get this guy uh, on the net right now if I want to, or I should say on my network, on my network, by putting in my SSID and password, but I can also start an evil portal, a different type than we're used to seeing. So you can see here, I've got the Facebook, here, let's zoom in on this a little bit. I've got the Facebook web address in there for login. I've got my SSID, my SSID's password, the AP name, and we'll see, we'll go into that. 
and then the portal domain, we want to make sure this is portal. When you first start it, it says portal.local. We erase the dot local because we're going to actually be going out to the internet to get this information. And what we're going to get is the facebook.com login pages information. And I'll show you that in just a second here. So I'll go back to here and I'm going to go down to Evil Portal. I'm going to start Evil Portal. It's going to kick me off of GhostNet. So I start Evil Portal. It says, hey, there's some web UI information you need to do. I already did it. I'm going to hit OK. It goes through its stuff. And now it's waiting for data. Look at that, waiting for data. So here's what I'm going to do. Set this guy down. Go back here. And now I'm going to go to Evil AP. This is, I could have named it whatever I wanted. I kept it Evil AP. I'm going to click on that. Look what happens over here. It's like, hey, someone's connected. Let's download Facebook's login information and then display it for him on his phone. Look at that. Now, granted, this isn't perfect yet. They're still working on this every day, but it's grabbed the Facebook login information and put it right here on my phone so that if I enter that information, if I enter this information right here, it's going to document that. All right, so let's just say pen at test.com. Dot com. This is phenomenal what they've done. And we'll just tuner one, two, three. Okay. Now, if I hit log in there, we're going to see some stuff go on here and now it's gathering all that data that I put in there and it's putting it on the SD card of the flipper so what we've done here or what they've done is made it so that you can grab the login information from a website so it looks legitimate like I said not totally perfect yet but they update this thing all the time so it downloaded the login information for facebook the the login page displayed it on my screen so it looks legitimate to me and will look better every day i put in my information my facebook information thinking that's how i have to you know authorize myself to get on wi-fi and then it put it on my flipper it put that information on my SD card. Absolutely phenomenal. So there, there's actually a lot more to the Ghost ESP or the Ghost, uh, yeah, the Ghost ESP stuff than what I just showed you. But I, but, and I know we're showcasing this board, but I just thought I'd show you that, that Ghost ESP is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so that worked. That was super cool. Now let's look at another function. We'll look at one more function of this board and that is the RJ45 jack. So we'll come out of Ghost ESP and we'll go all the way back to the beginning. Let's plug in an ethernet cable here and get on my network. So the way I do that right now by when I plugged it in, so here, We'll go to apps, GPIO, debug, zoom in a little bit, debug, and now Ethernet. So the W5500 Ethernet. And I can get on my network now, plugged in with the flipper and do a bunch of cool stuff. I'll show you a couple things. So the first thing we want to do is initialize this MAC address. Boom. It says, OK, we're set. Let's go to DHCP. We'll hit that. 
It's giving me my DHCP address, going through its process. And now it tells me my gateway, my DNS server. Oops. My gateway, my DNS server, my IP address, 192.168.2.43. Very cool. So uh, we could give ourselves a static IP address. We can ping. Let's do a ping. So we're pinging uh, Google right now. Totally works. So now you've got this tool, fairly inexpensive tool, where you can run all these sorts of tests on a network. Just phenomenal. This board is, is great. And now we'll come out. And that's it. That's, that's all I'm going to show today. So what we've done, unplug this, is kind of show you this new board from Rabbit Labs, the Yapper board, and its potential because of some of the new software that's been written, plus these innovative designs that Rabbit has gone through, we've got a really wonderful board here that can do a ton of stuff. So this is the Yapper board by Rabbit Labs for the Flipper Zero.